Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to Walterman Homestead and welcome back to the greenhouse. Um, the kids have kind of been in and out of here all morning helping me. Um, I have been transplanting our tomato seed seedlings that we started a couple weeks ago. They've sprouted. They're all getting some decent height on them. Um, but I want to get them separated and get them into different containers. Um, so here's kind of what I've been working on. Um, labeling and putting each little tomato tomato seedling in its own little baggie. Um, these baggies I did order off Amazon. I did talk about them in uh, the video that I had started tomato seedlings um, and how I have them in different sizes. Uh, but I've just been using the small bag. Uh, I've been having better luck filling these up when I roll the tops down. It's just kind of a little bit easier. Um, so if you're using those bags, you could do that. Um, my experience with tomatoes, they're very forgiving. Um, for example, some people, beginner gardeners, kind of get scared when it comes to uh, transplanting little seedlings when they're stuck together. Uh, tomato seedlings, you just grab them and just very gently pull them apart. Um, little tomatoes they have these itty bitty teeny tiny little hair like fibers uh, you probably won't be able to see it with the camera and the sun but if you're ever looking at a tomato seedling you can see those and um, those can turn into roots if they've given if they've been given some soil and some moisture and so it can help establish your tomato plant a little bit better and let it have a better root system so typically when I plant little tomato seedlings I'll give them a good um, depth when I plant them in the little baggies. So I've just been taking the baggie, drop my tomato seedling in, push down towards the middle with equal pressure, kind of squeeze it, squeeze the top so that it has a good um, good firm planting. Then I've kind of been topping it off a little bit more with soil if it needs it. Um, some of them do, some of them don't. Just kind of depends on which kiddo was helping me fill these little baggies. And then I just spray it with a little bit of water. Drop the label in. And then I'm setting it over here in this other tray. Um, pretty simple. And then when I go to water this tray, these baggies are like fibery. Um, kind of like little strands of hair all woven together. Um, I'll just put water in the bottom of this tray and just let the roots get water from the bottom. But here's one little seedling that's been transplanted. I would guess at this point I've got a good like 30 little tomato seedlings here. Um, there's been a couple that I've left in the tray because they've just begun to sprout or they're just still really little. Um, but like these big big decent sized little seedlings I've been transplanting. It's just such a nice day. It's probably one of the last few nice days we'll have. It's getting ready to rain I think for a week. The neighbor's dogs have been all torn up today too. Um, so excuse them but it has been such a nice day today. And there's no little seedling done.
in this, put in this oil in this, these little bags. And, um, we just love your channel. And we love your animals and your baby cow is so cute. And, um, and so it is a pretty day outside. That's why we're out here. I'm just putting these soils in the bags. We're just putting in this lime. And uh, and my mom said the thing. And um, my dad's over there working on his truck, doing his own thing. And I'm just here with my mom, joy of the day. And it is a pretty day. You probably went to them out here. And, but, but, um, yes, we do love your plants. And we love all the stuff that you do. And God bless. Thanks for joining me out in the greenhouse today, guys. As always, take care and God bless.